Have you ever wondered how the gaming benchmarking channels get this nice FPS counter in their videos? I'm going to show you how you can monitor FPS and all the stats of any game. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Game Gangster. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So you just bought a new gaming PC or upgraded your old one and you want to know how much FPS you're getting in games. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to show you how to monitor FPS and all the stats in games. To show FPS in games, you'll need software called MSI Afterburner. Don't worry, you don't need an MSI motherboard or graphics card to use it. To download it, just search for MSI Afterburner on Google or go to the link in the description below. After the download is complete, install it. While installing, make sure you check this Install Revertuner Statistics Server option. Otherwise, it won't show the FPS on screen. When you're done with the installation, open the program. Don't worry, you don't have to overclock your graphics card to use this on-screen FPS. You can just leave everything as it is in here. Now, click on the gear icon to go to the settings. From here, click on the Monitoring tab. And from this list, select everything you want to show on screen and click on this Show in on-screen display option. If you don't see it here, that means you didn't check the Install Riva Tuner Statistics Server option when installing Afterburner. Install that and you'll see this option right here. Now I'll just select GPU temperature, GPU usage, memory usage, CPU temperature, CPU usage, RAM and FPS. And when you're done selecting everything you want on the screen, click Apply and OK. Now go to the taskbar and click on Show Hidden Icons. From here, open this icon, which is Reva Tuna Statistics Server. On the General Properties, make sure Show On-Screen Display is on. And from here, you can change the color of the on-screen display. Change the size and the position by clicking and dragging it on the box. When you're satisfied with your changes, close Revertuna and open any game. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this guide has been helpful in optimizing your gaming performance. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. As Game Gangster will continue to bring you the latest tech news, hardware reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. If you enjoy this kind of content, there are plenty of other videos on our channel that you can check out. Our in-depth reviews and comparisons, especially designed for gaming enthusiasts, might catch your interest. Also, if you're looking for short and quick content, make sure to take a look at our shorts videos. There, you can quickly learn about the latest developments in the tech world or pick up some quick tips to enhance your knowledge. We release new videos every week, so make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of them. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments and let us know what content you'd like to see in the future. See you in the next video, take care and good luck with your games.